Hi everyone, so in this video we will explain about our project dealing with the study of the Puma 560 manipulator using the robotics toolbox in MATLAB. So the first step is the forward kinematics. In this code you can see that the first thing that we did is to um, upload the model of the Puma 560 um, already included in the robotic toolbox of uh, Peter Korg. So we define the uh, vectors of Q ready and Q rich that are the uh, initial configuration of the joints and the final configuration of the joint. And then we define the trajectory um, in order to reach the final position from the initial one. And after that, we computed the uh, homogeneous transformation T uh, from the um, from this trajectory using the forward kinematics function. Um, after that, we extrapolated the translational part and the rotational part of this this transformation, and we plotted them. Um, so yeah, in this part, we just uh, try to get confident with the functions of uh, uh, this uh, toolbox. So here you can see the graphs that we plot. So we have on the right the translational part of the transformation we computed. Then we have the RPI, so the rotational part. And uh, on the left, we have the joint angle variation. So the second part regards the um, inverse kinematics. So here you can see that the uh, procedure is almost the same as before, but here we have to start from the final position uh, of the end effector and uh, um, compute the uh, configuration of the joints to reach that position. So um, the vectors are the same. The only thing is that we had to compute two um, homogeneous transformations uh, using the um, C trajectory function. Uh, so these uh, homogeneous transformations are then used to compute the um, inverse kinematics uh, uh, like before. Um, yeah, then uh, the final step, uh, of course, is to plot the result of these calculations. Finally, uh, we compare the two uh, results of the two uh, methods of kinematics. So you can see here that the manipulator behaves the same. So now we can uh, enter in details about our project that is a simplification of the pickup uh, application of this manipulator. So um, we started from uh, um, a code um, inserted by, the, uh, by Peter Kork in his uh, YouTube channel uh, in which he showed that the manipulator reached uh, a sphere in his um, operational space. So we proceed the same defining these spheres and uh, by defining these spheres then we could also uh, define the translational and rotational part of uh, um, the transformations and uh, after that uh, by uh, using them we could uh, define the inverse kinematics and the uh, corresponding trajectories. Um, to avoid that uh, the path uh, um, we defined included also um, singular configurations, uh, we used the Jacob function and we um, saw that uh, the determinant of this matrix uh, was not uh, equal to zero. After that, we plotted the spheres uh, together with the manipulator. After this, we have the dynamics part, uh, which is basically all uh, on Simulink, uh, except for some uh, um, parameters that uh, we had to define on MATLAB. The first trial on Simulink regards uh, the uh, application of dynamics in the case that we don't have any torque as input. So in this case, we can see that uh, the manipulator acts only um, due to the uh, gravitational force. So here you can see the plot of the configuration parameters of the joints. The first real control regards the PD plus gravity compensation. So in this Simulink block, we have the uh, PD plus gravity compensation, which involves uh, the definition of the parameter KD and KP, which are defined in the MATLAB code. The trajectory defined is the one from one sphere to uh, another one. And here you can see the plots of the joint variables with the change of the parameters. 
In this other Simulink scheme, we have the same PD plus gravity compensation control, but we, we here are operating in the operational space. So we have the uh, involvement of Jacobian and also the um, computation of the error of angle and positions of the joint variables. The next step is the dynamics control. So in this scheme, we have the J trajectory block as input for the inverse dynamics. So here we have, uh, in addition to the KD and KP definition, we also have uh, the difference between the Puma no friction and uh, the Puma with some uh, uncertainties that we have inserted. So here you can see the difference between the two Puma models. Uh, here instead we have uh, a little modification in the robust control block, so we have the omega compensation and in the MATLAB code we have the additional parameter rho that is uh, due to the uh, compensation of omega. So here you can see the plots uh, with the different values uh, of the parameters, so it, it is just fixing one and changing the others. Okay, bye bye! Thanks for watching